About three days ago, I had a dream. Laying up on the mama's bosom. She was protecting me from the thunder, held me tight under the covers. I'm talking about my mother, my source of light. All was right until I woke up in the middle of the night, surrounded by bars, and realized that I wasn't a child anymore. Just a man who buried his creator years ago. I decided to turn over, hat down over eyes, and to my surprise, I recalled my homie's untimely demise. I seen the bullet in slow motion as it pierced through the air like it pierced through his chest, yoking his soul down to rest. I was thinking, this can't be, but I knew it was. It is what it is, and I am what I am, wounded, behind enemy lines. The war is my life, creeping through the trenches, living amongst abused bodies. Fighting time while time is shooting back with itself. More time. The bars are alive, strangling me while I'm in a cell alone at night. My tears are burning, but the days ain't turning faster. I'm running because master's after my blackness and history chapters. Accountable for my sins, even though I wasn't given the lessons of life. In my heart, I knew what was wrong wasn't right. Striving to live righteous. But the demons in my past, they haunt me, so I fight this. Despite this, I write this. Life is a bullet and I bite this. Embracing the struggle. Cowards dodging my words, attacking with muzzles. Grandmother's walking a tightrope. That's her lifeline. And I'm crying because she's dying. No shoulder to lean on because all my troops are wasted. And the world is getting colder. But I'm a soldier and I'm going to make it. Shot fired, shot fired. My whole reality is composed of multiple casualties. Here comes pain again, it flames within. My grandfather standing strong, absorbing sharp shots from off riders. While my sister, she's running wrong, playing hard rock with blood riders. My cousin got her education now, bringing peace to my eyes. But she don't remember me. Her little girl just graduated. I think of her often, but they don't place me in her memories. That's why I'm right myself, trying to enlighten myself. But it's hard when the last 13 years I've been fighting myself. I wanted to kill myself, but just couldn't will myself. So I took up meditation, began to deal with myself. I'm beginning to heal myself, listen to my excitement. I'm feeling myself. Once I finish preparing myself, then maybe I'll no longer be fearing myself. But as for right now, I'm still wobbling on shaky grounds. Still having dreams of that pound, the gun and the pot. They both made my block hot. They both made me pop tops. If it wasn't for prison, would I have stopped? And you still judge me? Fuck you, I judge myself. I'm the one stopping myself. Shot fired, shot fired. Dudes were aiming at me. After I got sentenced to football numbers, wifey started changing on me. She said she couldn't hang it with me. It fucked me up, cause when I was home, she used to bang it with me. Fuck life, I roughed it hard. She used to claim it with me. But now I see all she wanted was street fame and money. Shot fired, shot fired. I'm a hero on my block because I ain't rap to the cops. But how can I glorify that shine when no one even trying to help me out this bond? It's like out of sight, out of mind. Sometimes I feel like I be losing my mind. I stay true to the hood. Still dudes never once looked out for my peoples when they could. Pray for me. Sometimes I feel the Lord is tired of saving me, confusing myself. Yo, this is my first time introducing myself. Y'all hope y'all feeling me, because sometimes I have no youth for myself. 